All right, once again, boxing is just getting ridiculous. Devin Haney and Cambozo get at it on Twitter, basically saying, look, I know you're trying to start a bidding war or whatever and whatnot, but you said I was next, so keep that same energy. Cambozo replies to uh, Devin Haney having to sell his jewelry to get a fight with him, you know? And look, I don't know if Devin Haney went back and retracted what he said, and he said he wouldn't go to Australia, but I clearly remember Devin Haney saying that he'll go to Jupiter if he has to. Now, I haven't heard about him saying that he doesn't want to go to Australia or nothing like that. So, Cambozo's reply is just straight bitch. You know what I'm saying? At this point, that, that thong must be real tight up the crack of his ass, you know? And Devin Haney's not even a flashy guy like that. You know what I'm saying? He has a couple pieces of jewelry or something like that. But it just goes it just goes to show that Cam Bowes is just focused on the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? And a nerve of somebody talking about somebody else's attire or accessories to life. You know what I'm saying? When you got this guy dictating to you when he's out here dressed like an overpriced limo driver. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is wrong with Cam Bowes that today? What happened to that Spartan attitude? Now, now you're talking about your people know what to do. So one thing that I'm going to say, it can't be about the location because Devin Haney said that he'll go to the location. And if he has retracted what he said, then you would have some ground to stand on. But if he didn't say that, then what's the point of you bringing up some jewelry? Okay. At this point, it seems to be all about money. Now, I understand you trying to get your paper too, but if that's what you was about, you should have put that energy out there. You don't need to come out here and pretend like you're something that you're not because real people and real folks is going to hold you to your word, just like Devin Haney is trying to do. If Devin Haney is not one of the most avoided fighters in boxing, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? People want to see undisputed. You, you're not really undisputed. Lomachenko was never really undisputed. Teofimo Lopez is not undisputed. Once again, undisputed can be disputed. So therefore, there can be no undisputed. Undisputed is undisputed. So there is no argument. As long as there is a argument, there is no undisputed. Okay? It defeats the damn purpose. Do you want to fight this kid or not? It seems nobody wants to fight this kid. So at, at the end of the day, you got to give Devin Haney... Um, the new uh the new boogeyman title. You know what I'm saying? It, it's no choice, regardless of how you feel about it. Don't don't none of y'all want to fight this guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's pillow fifted and, and all this other shit and talk about people that's boring. Man, that's that cover up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all say the same shit about Shakur Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Shakur Stevenson wouldn't it needs to be more exciting. These cats going 12 rounds and shit, shit like that. Loma go 12 rounds and y'all love it. You know what I'm saying? Once again, the lopsided shit in boxing and the shit that I didn't talked about in previous fucking videos. It just goes to show you. If Cam Bose is wasn't about that life, stop talking about you uh, about that life. Why does somebody have to sell their jewelry? What does selling his jewelry have to do anything with getting a fight with you, which you said he would do? Does he need to sell his jewelry or be entertaining? And tell me how the two of those match up. Okay, how do you go from you need to be entertaining to selling jewelry? Because if it's about selling jewelry, then it's not about being entertaining. If it's about entertaining, then it's not about selling no jewelry. And why the fuck are you focused on his neck like that? Why do you care what he possesses? You know what I'm saying? And somebody wrote a comment that I thought was actually a good comment right there. Like, yeah, pimp, like what what, what time is this fight going to air in Australia? Supposedly. You know what I'm saying? And people even tell him, man, that was a fucked up ass comment. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, George Cambos is acting like a straight up bitch. I don't want to hear none of that Spartan bull crap or nothing like that. But then again, if boxing fans and people in the boxing industry shut, if all if all these people kept the same fucking energy that they love to have for this fighter, that fighter, this PBC fighter, Deontay Wilder, Javante Tank, if y'all had that same energy towards everybody, it ain't no telling what fights we might see. But as long as y'all playing favoritism, as long as y'all letting people escape, you know what I'm saying, because they got the right kind of uh, complexion for the protection, then we always going to get this shit in boxing. This is what I said. You can't not talk about the unavoidable. The unavoidable is it's clear as day y'all let certain fighters 
walk around here ducking a hundred miles a fucking hour, but demand the most of other people. That's what's wrong with the fucking sport. And that's why it's a fucking joke at the end of the day. All y'all scared of Devin Haney at the end of the day. All y'all ducks. Everybody's a duck until somebody fight fucking Devin Haney. This shit is getting annoying. And I ain't even the one fighting. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers should be downright embarrassed. Period. Because if he ain't this and he ain't that, and, and this is how you know he a threat. Because had he not been a threat, y'all have been in the ring with him. Them is facts. I'm out.